welcome to our channel Learn with Jipin. I'm Dr. Shruti. We all know that today everyone is eagerly waiting to know about the result of the NEET examination postponement. So today let's talk a few things about it. Come on. In this pandemic situation, yesterday our AIMS ex director has given a speech in that he mainly emphasizes on students' health. And he also says a very good thing that the sky is not going to fall just because the exam has been postponed. Actually, it is one of the very good valid point because just postponing the exam a little is not going to show a very big impact. Almost six months of the academic year will be skipped. But I think so the medical colleges, everything, it's a quite manageable situation only. Yesterday, there was also a press meet regarding the uh, of the education ministry and they also say that they are in favor of the students regarding the postponement of the NEET examination. But all, uh, already the exam has been postponed, so they are not able to decide. So they said that they have to rethink about it. That is, uh, they have to rethink about the postponation of the exam with the health ministry and the home ministry. So only after deciding with them, they can be they can decide that the exams can be postponed or not. So the education ministry also said the final decision can be made only after discussing with the home ministry and health ministry. And above all, the final judgment will be made by the Supreme Court. And now, how the judgment is given by the Supreme Court and who are the judges for all these questions, here is the answer. Now, the Supreme Court, it consists of three judges panel. In that, the main important chief judge is Mr. Arun Mishra and other two important judges. So, these three judges are the ones who is going to give the final decision for this NEET examination. As we all know, the most powerful lawyer, Mr. Alak Alok Srivastava is the one who is going to appear in, the, in favor of the students regarding the postponation of the exam. And one of the most important thing in the history is the educational campaign which is conducted in the Twitter yesterday. Nearly 1 million tweets have been come against this uh, NEET examination. So nearly 1 million students have tweeted ask, regarding asking for the postponation of the exam. And so many of you are sending mails to the Supreme Court for asking for the postponation of the exam. My dear students, you please note that you mention the case number in your mails before sending. Because if your case number is not there, your mails are considered as invalid. The proper way to send the mail, the proper uh, pattern and the case number and all the other details is being given in the description box. Please do check it before sending the mail. And also one more important thing is that while sending mail, while sending mail, many of you just copy paste the content of somebody else's mail and you send it as yours. But by doing so, it is of no use because the mails which have the same content are just considered as spam mails and it is of and it is invalid. So you please send each and every mail with a unique content. You just tell what is your own problem and why do you need the exam to be postponed. So that will do something good for you all. Now talking about all these things about the tweets and about the mails everything. One side the students are doing all their maximum to postpone the exam. Why? The other side in Gujarat the parents association all the parents they have filed a case that saying that they want the exam to be conducted on September 13th. They don't want to postpone the NEET examination. For, those, for all those parents, I just request them to kindly think about all the students' situation, not only their own children, but to think about all the students' situations and from the places where they are coming and all these health crises. Because in this such a pandemic, a COVID situation, many of their places is under containment zone. And by flood, many are affected by floods. There is no transport. So, so many issues the, uh, the students are facing in this. And NEET is not just an exam where a few students is going to write. Nearly 16 lakh students are going to write this exam near, uh, all over India. So, we have to consider each and every one's situation in this. While reading the comments of our previous video, so many students have just said about their problems, why they, uh, why they want to postpone the exam. Many of them, many of their houses are really affected because of the floods in Kerala. 
and many of them don't have the vehicles that is don't have the transport to come to the centers to write the exams and when you conduct an uh, such a big examination all over india nearly 16 lakh people that is 16 lakh students are writing not only those 16 lakh students are going to come they are always accompanied by their parents so such a huge crowd is going to come and this situation this infection now it's been proved that it is spread without any symptoms or something so if we we ourselves doesn't have any symptoms and if we want to work, appear for the exam if it is going to spread such a huge amount that is there will be a drastic increase in the covid patients this is not just an imagination we already have a solid proof that america has uh, america already allowed to open the schools and once they opened nearly 90 97000 students were affected because of that and now they had to close so after knowing that and after seeing that i don't think so our government will take such a risk in this situation which because more than the examination the first priority should be given to the health of the students so i i wish all the parents should think about all those things all the situations of the students and or in such a situation if this infection is going to spread it's not only going to affect the students it's going to affect their family it's going to affect their neighbors and each and every one so please do parents before filing the case please to think about all these things and we also know that the admit card for the uh, neat examination is supposed to be given by this august 15 16 and 17 which is also been postponed because only after knowing the judgment on august 17 we'll be able to decide the further details so to conclude with to taking into account the situation the of the covid 19 the opinions of the doctors all the board directors health ministry students and everything i hope so and i wish so that the supreme court will give a judgment which is favorable for the students and also help us do by doing the needful and whatever it is as a doctor i request all you students just focus only on your studies and just go study just keep on studying because don't get don't get distracted because of anything and don't get disappointed let the judgment whatever the judgment may be with all sorts of hope and confidence we will face it and we will do the exams so all the very very best to my future doctors thank you